Hello everybody and today in this video I will tear this Sony HDR S20 action camcorder down. So let's get started. So first you need you need to remove the battery for safety reasons. And next you should pop off this collar right here, which reveals two screws. Which I will unscrew it right now. There we go. And next, you have to pry this apart. So use your fingernail and just pry, and just lift it like this. <laughs> And if I remember correctly, the whole, the whole thing should just come should just comes apart after after this. Oh, oh, there we go. So let's do it again. So so you use your fingers and just grab on the microphone and just grab on the microphone port like this and pull it out. Like so, <laughs> and there, and here we are, and here we go. So this was inside of the HDR AS AS twenty. So let's open some screws and let's see the board beneath it. So there are two screws on the right side. And this one should lift up, but does not. And pull this metal frame out. And the LCD. But doesn't. I mean, I may not have to mm, do this. So you seeing what my what my jumper cable here? I pushed this this pin out on the um on the battery record door. So until it should just come out. There we go. This just held together by a bunch of clips. Alright, so I just got it out and we need to disconnect this LCD connectors. <laughs> And this is a tiny speaker it has. As you can see on this board, we have a few chips. And this chip is called KM55-0855. Oh, A0. KM55-08055. Some other chip or crystal oscillator, I think. There's some small chips. There we go. And let's pull out the board and see what what's underneath it. So first I need to unlock this sensor unit right here. And this, and this microphone clip. <laughs> and and as you can see, there is a f there's only t there are only two chips, one small and one big. 
so the first chip is a is a SEC K five A two G two GQCM so like that GAK one three seven seven H. Don't know what that chip is, but that is probably the main processor for for this whole entire unit. And there's also a TI chip LVDS three hundred one. So that. So this is a multi-port connector. This also used to connect the optional LCD panel. So I think. So I'm pretty sure the 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 LVDS names pretty much gave away what it is. It's an LCD controller, kind of. And here we have some micro SD and M2 card slot, charging port. No, that's HDMI mini or micro HDMI. Yes, micro USB microphone plug-in. Connector for internal microphones, some inductors, capacitors, resistors. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's take out this image sensor unit. So there should be one screw here, as far as I can tell. <laughs> oh, and, oh, and oh, and oh, and also this. This is the Wi-Fi antenna. Alright, so let's put my screwdriver in there. I have to take take out this wash antenna first. Oh, there we go. <laughs> since since this thing's broken, I <laughs> I really don't care if if I break it. It just one day suddenly not, it just suddenly not not power on after a charge. I really don't know why. Maybe the controller in the, maybe it's main 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 processor in the camera's fry or something. I really don't know. Yeah, but anyways, this is the lens. That's a wide angle, one hundred seventy degree lens, or one hundred thirty, depending on which mode you use. And I need to take this copper thing out. And here's the sensor. <laughs> That's a decent sized sensor. Oh, this is a pretty big sensor. This is like one o one over two point three inch or something. I have to I have to look at the specs to to see it. But um, from what from what I observed, it this this is a b bigger sensor than than most cameras. Most camera you most low end camera uses like what, one third inch, one fourth inch sensor, which doesn't help in, which really doesn't help much in low light situation. This one is big, so it should help. And this is the lens with built-in IR filters. And that's it. Thanks for watching.